Hey, it's Nick with Biophysics Essentials, and in this video, we're going to look at some characteristics of Lactobacillus plantarum, a bacterial strain in our microbiome restored probiotic. Lactobacillus plantarum is featured in many scientific research papers, and it has been linked to various positive effects in studies. Lactobacillus bacteria in general are some of the most commonly used bacteria for probiotic supplementation, and they're aerotolerant anaerobes which means they like oxygen-poor environments. This makes them a perfect fit for the environment of the digestive tract, where anaerobic bacteria can thrive. Lactobacillus plantarum are rod-shaped and produce various compounds including lactic acid. This bacterium has a few key impacts that have been supported by studies, so we'll jump right into that now. In a 2017 study published in the Food Technology and Biotechnology Journal, Lactobacillus plantarum was shown to inhibit the growth and viability of a serotype of Salmonella enterica, a serious human pathogen. This result was thought by the researchers to possibly be a result of better competition for eukaryotic cell receptors, although secretion of antimicrobial compounds could have been in play as well. The ability of bacteria to bind to epithelial cells in the digestive tract is crucial to their survival, which means that in theory, if good bacteria are well established, pathogenic bacteria won't be able to establish a community and cause illness. The conclusions derived from this study are consistent with competition behavior in organisms both large and small throughout nature. In a 2016 study published by the Behavioral Brain Research Journal, Lactobacillus plantarum was shown to increase dopamine and serotonin levels in mice, as well as reducing their anxiety and increasing locomotor activity. Because of how the study was conducted, the researchers were not able to identify precisely how much of an improvement there was compared to other studies. While many probiotic bacterial strains produce neurotransmitters, dopamine can't cross the blood-brain barrier. Because the increase in dopamine was only seen in the striatum of the brain, it is possible that it was a result of vagus nerve stimulation by the bacteria, something seen with another strain, Lactobacillus rhamnosus. This study concluded that Lactobacillus plantarum showed potential to be used to help regulate motor function and the mood of the host, as well as reducing anxiety. While this was observed in mice, it is certainly helping to craft our understanding of why people feel better when certain bacteria are present in their gut. Another study in 2019 found very similar effects from Lactobacillus plantarum in mice, where neurotransmitter levels in the brain were increased following gut colonization. Brain development and function were also seen to improve. Serotonin was produced by the Lactobacillus plantarum in the gut, and serotonin, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, and neurotransmitter levels were all elevated in the brain. Not only were neurotransmitter levels higher in treated mice in this study, but the number of neurons that had serotonin receptors were increased, showing that fundamental changes to the structure of the brain were happening due to a process called upregulation. Lactobacillus plantarum is a well-studied bacterial strain that consistently produces eye-catching results, and it's no surprise that it's in many probiotic supplements. I hope you found this video informative, and if you'd like to read the articles cited in this video, the links will be in the description box below. Don't forget to leave a like rating and subscribe if you have not already. Keep an eye out for more videos coming soon, and I'll catch you next time.